I'm about to show you the music that plants make through biofeedback. I put an electrode at two sides of the leaf. That's when electric signals are translated into different pitches and it turns into a frequency of sound. This is what a monstera plant sounds like. <laughs> Essentially what happens is when plants are exposed to certain frequencies of sound, they may vibrate and produce faint sounds that can be detected by sensitive equipment and those sounds are often inaudible to humans and they're typically at frequencies much lower than what we can hear. So with these electrodes that we attach to the leaves, we're able to hear different pitches like low and high notes through the electrical signals that the plants give to the electrodes. This is what a carnivorous plant sounds like. Of course, we had to see what an avocado plant sounded like. And what I love about these is that we can even change the instrument that we want to play. This one was, I think, an acoustic guitar. There's even research that says plants cry when you cut their leaves off. But essentially, some researchers have suggested that plants may use these sounds as a means of communication, so they may use vibrations to signal nearby plants that are being attacked by insects or other threats, and I just thought that was so cool. And the sounds of this garden crotton plant were absolutely amazing, but you're gonna wanna see what I put the electrodes on next. Of course, I wanted to see what my dragon fruit plant would sound like. This is a, a white dragon fruit. I think I put the accordion on this one. And to me, it sounded so awesome. Just listen to the sound and imagine that plant talking. And then I got curious to see what happens when I put these electrodes on my hand. I wanted to see if it was similar sound to the plants. How awesome is that? They sound a little bit different, but essentially this is a little bit about what some plants sound like, but the fact that plants produce sounds through vibrations and movements and respond to various stimuli like light, touch, and sound. And when they're exposed to certain frequencies of sound, they may vibrate and produce faint sounds that can be detected by sensitive equipment. I just found that to be so, so amazing. So now you know that plants are very sensitive. Maybe they even have a soul, but it is very beautiful. The biofeedback through the electrodes to allow us to listen to the music that the plant leaves makes is even more cool and the fact that we can change the instruments up is so awesome. While there is some interesting research on the topic of plants and sound, it's important to note that the idea of plants making music is still a topic of debate and it's not widely accepted in the scientific community yet, but let's try and change that, okay? So let me know what plant that we should listen to next in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and just remember that on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown house plants that fruit, but this week we heard a little bit about how some plants sound through vibrations and movements and how they respond to various stimuli detected by sensitive equipment. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, remember that, and I'll see you next week.